Don't waste your time arguing or debating with the white masses. They're just as brainwashed, if not more, as many of our own people are. The only difference is that our people have been brainwashed to believe less of ourselves, while they've been brainwashed to believe more higher of themselves. They look down at us because they've been brainwashed to believe that they are inherently superior to us. They don't know that white social scientists, white historians, and white propagandists have whitewashed most facts to falsely exalt their racial group. They think that the information they've been taught are actually true. They sincerely don't know that their collective self-image and their collective self-esteem have been falsely bolstered by the system of white supremacy. Their false feelings of superiority exist because although they were in fact the villains throughout history, they've been miseducated to believe that they were the heroes. And although their ancestors traveled around the world like a cancerous plague, killing, raping, stealing, and spreading diseases, they've been miseducated to believe that their ancestors travel around the world as saviors, providing cures and saving lives. They also don't know that the real reason why their ancestors traveled thousands of miles to Africa to enslave Africans rather than enslaving the Native Americans that were already in the U.S. was because the slaves needed by their ancestors needed the strongest immune system to survive the many diseases carried by their ancestors. Their ancestors brought a large number of diseases to America that caused the death of millions of Native Americans. Africans possessed the immune system strong enough to survive the many diseases carried by their ancestors. Speaking of diseases, they also don't know that the sexually transmitted disease of syphilis and gonorrhea originated in Europe. During ancient time, whenever a European country was affected by either of these diseases, they would blame the neighboring countries for the outbreaks. The inhabitants of Italy, Germany, and the United Kingdom called syphilis and gonorrhea the French diseases. The Russians called them the Polish diseases. The Polish called them the German diseases. The Danish called them the Portuguese diseases, etc., etc. But what is known to be a fact is that the diseases originated in Europe. The false feeling of superiority held by most of them exists because most sincerely don't know that the history they've been taught has been whitewashed to elevate themselves and to make their racial group appear more significant and more relevant throughout history than they truly in fact were. They don't know that long before Europeans weaponized the gunpowder that they got from the Chinese and then used that weaponry advantage to invade and enslave Africans, that it was Africans that civilized Europe. They don't know this. They don't know that all of Greece's first scholars were educated by Africans. They don't know that Africans introduced the daily bath to Europeans. But it doesn't stop there. The societal narratives that are fed into the white dominant society are also distorted to falsely exalt Caucasians. Some things are so obvious that it's only by not critically thinking that it cannot be seen. When critically thinking, can you not see just how cartoonishly unrealistic it actually is that we never ever receive any negative narratives about Caucasians? All information fed into the white dominant society about Caucasians um, either exhaust themselves or favor themselves. This scenario is too perfect to be true. It's not. It's actually a social science tactic designed for maintaining white social dominance. According to white social scientists, feeding negative narratives into the society about the dominant group undermines their position of social dominance. Therefore, to endorse the white population position of social dominance, all of their narratives either exalts or favors themselves. This conveys a subliminal message into the collective subconscious minds of non-whites that Caucasians are inherently superior and are therefore supposed to rule over the subordinate populations. 
White social scientists describe this nefarious practice as merely instilling a value system into the collective minds of the subordinate population that makes us adhere to the authority and the existing infrastructure of the dominant culture. To put it more bluntly, the myth of white racial superiority is being perpetually pumped into our subconscious minds because it makes us more compliant with white dominance over our lives. The programming is so effective that in many cases, it causes many non-whites to prefer white dominance over our lives. To create and sustain false assumptions within the society that aids them in maintaining their social dominance, the white society conceals all unflattering facts about their racial group also. Most people only know that Caucasian makes up the majority of mass shooters, serial killers, and commits most hate crimes. But those incidents aren't easily to conceal from the public. That's why you know those. But however, most people are unaware of the fact that FBI data reveals that most violent crimes in the U.S. are in fact committed by Caucasians. Every year in the U United States, most violent crimes, including homicide and, and violent sexual crimes, are committed by them. Every year, most whites kill whites. Every year, most cops are killed by them. And they're also more likely than any other racial group to kill a parent and also more likely to kill a loved one for financial gain. These are all facts. And when I say that they lie about everything to falsely exalt their image, I do mean everything. The true reality is that in the U.S., the largest recipient of welfare are in fact them. The largest benefactor of affirmative action are also white women. Therefore, by extension, the white community benefits most from affirmative action. Your entire perception is a lie. Also, as a means of maintaining their social dominance, they conceal all positive, amazing narratives about black people that refuse to admit that whites are inherently superior to black. This is why they conceal the fact that most inventions that have revolutionized the world were either invented by black people or were directly inspired by black people. They don't want the public ever finding out that white companies acquires the rights to inventions made by black people and then places white faces in front of the technology. This allows the white society to continually exploit the genius minds of black people while maintaining the public perception that most inventions come from the minds of white people and the illusion that black people are the leeches of society that haven't invented much throughout history. Creating and sustaining this false perception of reality greatly aids the white society in maintaining its social capital and social dominance over black people. True black liberation will only be possible by learning of all the nefarious social sciences that are being secretly deployed by the white society for maintaining their social dominance over us and that they use to facilitate their long-term oppression of black people. We must learn of these tactics and then develop counter strategies to overcome them. Social science is one of the branches of science devoted to the study of human behavior, specifically how people behave and interact with each other. It's also used for steering society towards the objective of the white ruling class. They secretly use it for maintaining their social dominance and to facilitate their long-term oppression of black people. There are people who are working behind the scenes and trying to keep your mind dumbed down. They want to keep you believing in a biblical fairy tale, a silly slave syndrome myth. You need to elevate your mind and learn there are social sciences for controlling society. A society doesn't happen by itself. A society is scripted by the narratives that are fed into a society. And the white society is falsely scripted to maintain the system of white supremacy. It's falsely scripted to propagate the myth of white racial superiority. And it's falsely scripted to denigrate the image of black people because we are their greatest threat. One love and peace. It's time to wake up to our reality. You can learn more at www.theblackpeoplesmatrix.com. One love and peace.